Today I'm here in Lake Merritt, Florida, and I'm going to break down what this suburb of Orlando has to offer if you're thinking about moving here. I'm going to briefly address a few neighborhoods. I'm going to speak on what Lake Mary has to offer, and at the end, although I love Lake Mary, I'm going to speak on a couple of cons that I think you should be aware of when thinking about moving to Lake Mary, Florida. I'm Chuck Shaver, and I'm a local realtor here in the area, and this channel speaks on what it's like to eat, sleep, live, or whatever here in Central Florida. If that's the information that you want, then hit that like and subscribe buttons and click that little bell so that you'll be notified whenever I post other videos just like this. If you have real estate needs here in Central Florida, either leave them in the comment section below or go ahead and just reach out to me directly. Now, let's get back to what it's like here in Lake Mary, Florida. First, let's address what Lake Mary is. Well, Lake Mary is a city in Seminole County with somewhere around 17,000 people. It's primarily residential communities, although there is a good bit of commercial activity. There's shopping, restaurants, some office space, and a good bit of business complexes as well. Lake Mary is located not too far from the intersection of I-4 and the 417 up on the north side of Orlando, making location one of Lake Mary's greatest assets. New Smyrna and Daytona beaches are about 45 minutes to the east, and Stetson University and DeLand are about 30 minutes up to the north. Sanford International Airport is about 15 minutes away, and OIA, the Orlando International Airport, is probably a 35-minute ride. Heading down I-4, it'll take you about 25 minutes to get to Orlando proper, and about 40 minutes to get to Disney. Now, of course, all this is without traffic, something that Orlando has plenty of. The good news is that here, that Orlando has the express lanes now, and the 417 and the 429 are great alternatives to help you get around that traffic. So why would someone move to Lake Mary? Well, Lake Mary is a very desirable area for many reasons. Of course, the weather here is fantastic. Winter highs are in the 70s to the low 80s, which is absolutely gorgeous. Now in the summertime, it will get smoking hot with regular highs in the mid 90s. Most of us here deal with that heat in our swimming pools or spend our weekend at the beaches. The proximity to Orlando is a great asset too. Although there are plenty of jobs here in Lake Mary, there's Verizon, Deloitte, AAA, Converges, and several others, Orlando really has everything you can imagine. Of course, I mentioned a minute ago how, how close we are to the beaches, but Lake Mary, which calls itself the city of lakes, also has a bunch of lakes and the St. John's River is right up the road. Lifestyle is a big reason that many locals live here. Lake Mary's building pretty much began in the mid 90s, so it's a generally young town, especially when, when you compare that to Sanford, Lake Mary's neighbor, which has its roots back in the 1800s. Here in Lake Mary, there's a lot of gated and guarded communities. Most of these communities may be pricier than the neighboring areas, but that priciness is how so many people obtain the Lake Mary lifestyle. There are several golf courses, a trendy little downtown area, which we're in now, and Lake Mary Boulevard has all the restaurants and the shopping that you can ever imagine. I'm here in Heathrow now, so let's address the residential components of Lake Mary. Residential is comprised of mostly single-family residential homes. Now, there are a few townhomes, but there are very few mobile homes and very few um, land or farms as well. As I noted earlier, there are several gated and guard-gated communities as well. Heathrow is the big one here, and it's my personal favorite, with around 2,200 homes and 30 neighborhoods inside this master gated community. Homes in the Heathrow community are pricier than most of the gated communities you'll find here in Central Florida, but it's worth it. They've got an 18-hole golf course with reciprocity to the Alaqua Lakes course and those amenities too. They've got a great pool, tennis courts, it's just a great community overall. Sitting right across the street from Heathrow is a steeplechase community. I'll include a link towards the end of this video so that you can check that one out as well. Steeplechase is generally pricier than Heathrow, but some of their lots are even bigger. Some of them are over an acre. Timaquan is another good one on the east side of I-4 and it's generally a, a bit less expensive than Heathrow but it's not gated and it also has a golf course. I've got another video on that one too. There are several other great neighborhoods here in the area too, but I'm not even gonna try to address all of them. As a licensed realtor, I'm unable to recommend schools or school districts, but I'm always hearing people praising the Seminole County school system and the schools here in Lake Mary especially. There are plenty of public and private schools and Seminole State College is right here too. UCF, the University of Central Florida, is under 30 minutes down, down the 417. So, what do the locals do here? Well, one great benefit of Lake Mary is that there are so many jobs right here in Lake Mary. As such, most locals don't ever need to leave this area. Colonial Town Park up on the north side has a movie theater, 
shopping at several restaurants. Fourth Street is a nice little area. I was there earlier and I spent a good bit of time up there at the restaurants and there's a nice little market that they hold on Saturdays in that little park on the weekends. It's pretty nice. If you do want to leave, the beaches are the big draw, but Orlando is just a short ride down I-4 and all the Orlando attractions are a big draw too. There's quite a bit more down there than just the mouse. You may be surprised at what all Orlando has to offer. In the summer months, the locals will head to one of the local springs around the St. John's or Wakiva Rivers, which is really close by. There are plenty of parks here in Lake Mary, I'm at one now, especially if pickleball or tennis is your thing. But there are also plenty of baseball and soccer fields too. I'm sure that I'm leaving something out, but you get the idea. If healthcare is an issue for you, you'll be glad to know that Lake Mary has urgent cares, medical groups, and a couple of standalone ERs right close by. If you need a specialist, don't worry because I believe there are a ton of medical facilities right here in the area. Although I haven't been in them, I believe there are several independent living and assisted living facilities right here in this area as well. I love Lake Mary and this entire area for that matter. However, I believe that every rose does have its thorn and Lake Mary is really no exception. I spoke earlier about the Lake Mary lifestyle, but that lifestyle just isn't for everyone. It's really only for those that have a budget that can afford it. Lake Mary is one of the most expensive areas in the Orlando area, but that doesn't mean that it's only for the rich and famous because it's not. There are plenty of moderately priced homes without HOA fees to contend with that are still in nice areas. If you're in the Lake Mary area and you want that lifestyle but you don't have that budget, Sanford might be worth checking out. It's right next to Lake Mary and, and the boundaries between Lake Mary and Sanford can often be blurred. Uh, Sanford just has a different feel, but it's similar to Lake Mary in many ways. So the traffic here in Orlando has gotten really bad over the years. Uh, the good news is they put in the express lanes on I-4 and the, um, the 417 and the 429 have also done a good job to help alleviate that. Now maybe I'm being a little harsh on Lake Mary. You know, maybe it's just because this area is always congested, but that's really the issue everywhere here in the area, all of Central Florida. But it's just not as bad as it is if you go up I-4 and you cross the St. John's River Bridge up into the West Volusia area. Lake Mary is a wonderful little town, and maybe it's for you and maybe not. Either way, feel free to connect with me in the comment section below or just pick up the phone and give me a call. My team and I have been helping buyers and sellers with their real estate needs here in Central Florida for many years, and we'd be happy to help you too. Thanks for watching and I'll see you soon.